Good afternoon. I am at Crow Creek Mine, outside of Anchorage, actually way outside, and uh, gonna pay us for some gold. This is a practice bag. Creek is up the way. So this has been in the family business in the late 1800s. Miners came here in 1896, and uh, and. Gold is really heavy. It's 19 times heavier than a rock at same size. So if you put lots of water in there and shake it around to where all the gravel's moving, the water will loosen up the gravel and allow the gold to settle to the bottom. So you always want to have water covering your gravel and you want to be shaking your pan hard enough that everything in it is moving. So when your gold settles, it'll settle into the lowest point in your pan, excuse me, and you'll find it at the very end. It's the last thing you see, so it takes a little patience. And just slowly work it down to where you have a little bit of sand left. When you're ready to see if you have any gold, you know it's at the bottom of this pile, so you put a little water in there and gently swirl it around in a circle and tilt and swirl it. And that's the part that takes a little practice, but the gold being the heaviest will be the last to move. Is that see? it? Yeah. That's it. And you see these rocks? I could have taken those rocks out earlier. That's what it looks like. It's really shiny. It looks like a piece of jewelry, a shiny chunk of metal. It's not a dull yellow rock that needs to be polished. All right. Pour the water off. Get a dry finger. Touch your dry finger to the wet gold, and it'll pick it up. There's water in your vial. Touch your finger to the water and it'll go right to the bottom. And, um, that's it. So, the practice run, we have a pan. And I actually found the gold. I don't know if you can see it, but I put it in the bottle of water. So three little pieces of gold. So, I am ready to strike it rich on the creek. Let's go. All right, we're off to the creek to uh, really find some gold. Now let's see if we can actually trick Frank. Because I have some fool's gold right here. Let's see if you can tell the difference. All right, that was practice. This is for real. This is actual river mud myself, and I'm going to use what I learned, and I hope I strike it rich. Stay tuned. I'm swirling. We'll see what's in the pan. Imagine doing this all day. So the gold mining operation continues. We have Team Dorothy here, sifting through gravel. We have Team Frank over there with a bucket of mud. <laughs> and uh, I'm going back to my pan. So here's my pan, and I'm uh, getting down to the mud, and hopefully uh, I can actually get some gold. Uh, yeah, it is the Crow Creek right behind me. So hopefully I have a honey hole of a uh, gold mine. That little speck? That's what I got so far. Wow, you can retire, dude. What? That was from the ground, not salted so that somebody put in. You, you could retire, dude. You're paying for the trip. Woohoo! Frank strikes it rich. Oh. All right, so there's, I, I don't see any other color, right? You want to get down to this black sand, which is where yeah. I'm at. I don't know, let's see what's in mine. Oh, what's that, Frank? What's that? What's that right there? Oh, a piece of fool's gold. Huh? Fool's gold. Where? Or it could be silver. That's gold, dude. Where? 
the thing you just touched? No. That's not gold? Looks like it. No. It's pyrite. How do you know? Fool's gold. Looks like gold to me. Yep. It's gold, dude. But it's not. Eureka! Hey, Dorothy, look at a nugget in my pan. Show her. Hey, look what's in my pan. Look at this piece of gold. See it? It looks like gold. It might be gold. Frank thinks it's not gold, but let's check it out. What are you making there, Frank? Well, I got a piece from, I put a couple of shovels from up here in this upper cafe, which is right by where the entrance is and probably everybody works it. Frank, you got to screen faster so we can pay for this trip. <laughs> now we really struck it rich. Check this piece out. Dirty finger? Have a, look at this. Oh, shit. You got the answer? Frank, look at this. You remember, you remember Montana and the phone? Look at Frank. Oh, my God. Eureka. <laughs> That's a wrap. <clears throat> I didn't really find any gold. Maybe fool's gold. Frank didn't buy it. Oh well. Uh, most of these structures are original from 1898. The barn, blacksmith shop, the ice chest, um, meat storage, uh, commissary, cell equipment, and so forth. So pretty cool. The, the, the buildings are definitely interesting. And of course the truck. Uh, I think it's from the 1920s. Um, that's it. Uh, we're out of time, so unfortunately, I didn't strike it rich. Back to work. Make it a great day, bro. What? Did you see it? Did you see it?